Alright, so quick disclaimer for all my other subscribers, this video is intended for somebody who has never done a card trick in their life. I figured I'd post a video, uh, I know summer's coming up, so I know people are going to be looking up you know, how to do card tricks, and if they don't know where to start, it could be a hassle. So this is for somebody who has never done a trick in their life, and they want to know where to start. So this trick is pretty simple, but the end effect is really good, and it has a lot of moves in here that you guys are going to need to learn. So let's say you could have the spectator shuffle up the deck. And then what you could do is you could tell them, let's say we take the top card, in this case, the five of clubs. You tell them you're going to take the five, put it into the middle, and you show them that you don't really know exactly where it is. It's somewhere in there. And at this point, you tell them, okay, go ahead and cut the deck, and then you go ahead and mark that cut so you can leave the deck like that. And you can tell the spectator, you know what, you know, they shuffled the cards. Um, you went ahead, you pick the top card, you put it anywhere in the middle, and the spectator cut exactly even though we did all that the spectator cut exactly to their chosen card so this is a video guys hope you guys like it and if you want to learn how to do it don't forget to stick around for the tutorial all right so like i said it was really basic um for all you beginners out there this shouldn't really look too intimidating um this move is only made up of really two two slides and they're pretty easy and you can use these in a lot of different tricks so to begin the first thing you want to do is you could have the spectator shuffle up a borrowed deck or anything they could shuffle it up and at this point all you have to do is get a double lift so I'm gonna leave a link on the screen for the double lift here uh, because if I explain it this video it kinda takes too long and the video I already have is a lot uh, more detailed so essentially what you're doing is instead of flipping over one card when you're doing the trick you're actually gonna be flipping over two cards to make it look like you're flipping over one and like I said this video is directed towards beginners so when you first do the double lift don't be discouraged that it's gonna look really sloppy because it takes a while to get it to look smooth like that so the whole premise okay a quick tip for when the, you when you do the double lift is you can take the two cards and you can leave them out jogged a little bit in the back and then pick it up and like I said guys I have another detailed description for the double lift here if you click the link That'll take you there. And now once you do the double lift, you can take it and take their card, in this case, the Jack of Diamonds. When you do your double lift, you're putting that 10 or that indifferent card into the middle, and their card is still going to be on top. So at this point, their selected card, whatever it's going to be, is still going to be on top of the deck. So that way when you have them, you say, look, I have no breaks. I have no idea where the card is. And if you what you want to do is if you're a little bit... If you know how to shuffle cards, you can keep that selected card on top by ending the riffle with your right hand. So that's a little bit more advanced, even though it's kind of beginner just for you guys. Uh, the whole thing here is the card stays on top, and then what you do is when you cut the cards, you're going to tell the spectator, okay, cut the cards anywhere you like. You move the card pack over to the right, or the, whatever the spectator does. You take the bottom half of the packet, and you tilt it and you put it on top of the other packet and the top card is going to be right there. So that's kind of how the trick works and then when you play, uh, place the bottom packet on top of the top you kind of misdirect them and you kind of go over or recap the trick. This way the spectator kind of has time to forget about uh, the placement of these decks. So if you kind of misdirect them, talk to them a little bit about you know how they shuffled the deck, how you place the card in the middle and then shuffled the cards again they're going to kind of forget that this here is the top card. And if you do it convincingly, they're not going to guess it, uh, second guess it anyway. So that is pretty much the trick. Okay, so you cut the cards, you leave, leave it on top to mark the cut, flip over the top card, and this is a trick, guys. And like I said, this was intended for anybody who's looking to get a start in magic. So if you did happen to like my videos, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.